put up a video the other day about how I honestly feel Android is going to take over if Windows Mobile goes under. Then I, um, <coughs> excuse me. Then I got to thinking about it and realized that um, I may end up with uh, some comments saying, "Well, wait a moment. What's the accessibility status of Android?" There have been rumors that TTS will be um, available on Android. Um, and as I understand it, it has been available since 1.6. But starting with 2.0 on the Droid, we will be having menu readout. Now, how deep is that going to go? I don't know. Um, I will hopefully have a chance to see the Droid this coming up Saturday or Friday or whenever I can get over to Best Buy, provided they're carrying it, which I believe they are going to. Um, they have a working demo unit. I'll take a look under accessibility. But I saw John for Lakers' video, and he said that uh, under accessibility, there is, in fact, a read aloud option for the menus. So we're getting there. Um, is there going to be a screen reader? I'm hoping so. You know, let's not count our, count our chickens before they hatch from our eggs. But um, I'm hoping to see it. I'm hoping to see it pretty soon. Given the fact that we've already got TTS support, I don't think it should be too much longer. Um, one interesting thing about the operating system, I checked it on Wikipedia. Um, there was something having been said about Java. Now, I'm not sure if that's how the applications are written. I think it might be. The core is Linux. And because it's Linux, because it's open, I don't see it being terribly difficult to create a screen reader. If it's Java-based, that is going to be a challenge. However, OpenOffice.org version 3 is Java-based, as I understand it, and JAWS doesn't take too well with to it, but VoiceOver does. So, um, basically, VoiceOver's interaction with OpenOffice has proved that it's not impossible to create a screen reader for Java-based environments. So, basically, all I'm going to tell you is that it's a matter of time. But for now, we do have read aloud for the menus. Um, again, I do not know how deep those go. I hope that they go, uh, you know, as deep as they possibly can. I don't want to see barriers. But I'll see that, hopefully, if I get a chance to play with the droid later this week. Um, so, that's where we stand with accessibility for Android. One interesting idea that I have... Level Star LLC has developed a hardware device called the Icon. For those of you who are already familiar, please forgive me. I'm trying to get the mainstream um, audience into the groove into uh, yeah the groove here. So they've developed a PDA based on Linux, and it's got no screen. Instead, it's a talking interface. Otherwise, it's a pretty standard PDA, all your standard stuff. The cost of the device, unfortunately, has uh, prohibited the purchase for many. In other words, well, let's put it this way. You could get this, or you could get a MacBook Pro, the 13-inch model specifically. That's how expensive this thing is. One of the interesting things is that because the developers of the Icon used Linux, because they used the open-source libraries, all they really did was develop the UI for it. But the core of the operating system was based on completely on open source technology and uh, software stacks that were all already available in the open source. What I'm thinking is, why not take the user interface of the icon, which was completely vocal and used a menu-driven interface. Um, you would just use up and down arrows to go through your items, right to select, right or select to activate, left to back out. Or you can use first number navigation, where it's basically if you knew you wanted to get to a certain item and you knew it was five, you could just push five. Something like that. Um, and adapt it to Android. Now, an interface like I was just describing might be more at home on a device that has a built-in physical keyboard. Now, unfortunately, those devices are few and far between at this point, to my understanding. Um, the only one that I know of or the only ones, excuse me, that I know of that have this feature are the Droid and the T-Mobile G1, which, as I understand, is on the way out. There are more devices coming. 
Um, the Samsung Moment is an Android device that's going to have a physical keyboard. Um, but yeah, basically, I'm thinking take I the Level Star icon interface and make it available in the open source to developers and put it in the Android marketplace or put it in even with the Palm Pre because it's based on Linux. But that's um, that's a little off topic. We're basically focusing on Android here. Basically, we put the UI as a package into the Android market and, a, and download it for free. And um, basically, that would be our screen reader. So, um, like I said, at the moment, what we've got is read aloud menus. They are in the accessibility options. Like I said, I saw John for Lakers video. Um, I believe I have that in my favorites, so check out my favorites and see. Um, but he did say very clearly, in the accessibility options, uh, there was a read aloud option. Now this tells me that we definitely have an accessibility menu in in Android version 2, and I'm very interested to see how that plays out. Now at this point in time, the Droid is the only device that's going to be loaded with Android version 2. I've seen somebody actually getting it to work on the G1. I would not recommend it because the G1, uh, basically it handled it incredibly slow. If you have a G1 at this point, and you're looking at getting Android version 2, wait until a device comes to T-Mobile or if, or if they offer an upgrade for the MyTouch 3G. But as far as accessibility goes on Android, we're getting there. We're getting there. It'll take some time. Um, we'll just see how it, how, how it goes. But I do think that if Android is in fact going to take over for Windows Mobile, we are going to need to do, we are going to need to go ahead and get that screen reader um, up and running. So, anyway, um, thank you for watching. Comments are welcome. Insults against me will get you blocked, and have a nice day.